Is there anyone out there who still isn't clear about what doing drugs does? Okay, last time. Hello everybody and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be going over Tebex integration for Faxstore 2.5 and beyond. Uh, this video is going to go through how to exactly set up Tebex integration for your store. So essentially what we're going to start off by doing is we want to create the assets on Ivem's Keymaster website. That way we can integrate it with Tebex just like you normally would if you're familiar with Tebex at all. So we're going to create a new asset. We're going to name this asset player logs. We're going to select our file, which has to be obviously a eMaster or escrow compatible resource, which is going to be this one. We're going to upload that, we're going to process it. And with a bit of luck, it's going to be fine. And if we refresh the page here, it should say active. We want to go to Tebex. I've created a fresh account. I haven't done much with it other than change like a profile picture and stuff like that. So it is fully vanilla on the free plan of Tebex. Don't have to pay for Tebex. This method will have no money technically running through Tebex uh, because you have Axor for that. But it will still utilize 5M's uh, escrow system in a sense. What we want to do is we want to create a web store if you haven't already, which you'll likely be doing. We want to do this for a game server. We want to do this for 5M, obviously. You can read over the rules here and then you accept and continue. There we go. And we, we can charge in US dollar. This doesn't really matter because we're doing it on Faxor anyway. We have read and accept terms and conditions. We will continue. Now this screen is where we don't want to do anything. So we want to skip this section. Now you have a store, now you can go to packages and we want to create our first package. So we can create a package, you can do it up here. We can do it right here. There's only a few information points that is worth pointing out for this. Uh, so obviously you'll need the name, which we're going to call player logs. The name is the only thing that matters here. Uh, so if I put 5M here, you'll be able to see exactly what this does later on in the video. Pricing, you can set it to anything you'd like. Um, and then in visibility, we want to most likely check these two boxes. That way no one can actually buy this off of your own source. We're going to go to 5M Asset. We want to link our 5M account. We're going to authorize Tebex, use our CFXRE account. We can go back into here and we can select the asset we just created, which will be this one. And it will come up with a list of all of them on here. And we can select this one. Here we go. We have this package here. It is currently disabled. We want to go to game servers. And you'll have this existing one that we created earlier. If you have multiple, it can cause issues. So it's always good. I recommend at least setting up a brand new Tebex account if you can, or just ensure you have nothing odd going on here or any Discord requirements even in the Discord server section because they can, um, if you depending on your settings for the Discord server, it can not allow this package to work when they buy it off Faxor. So we're gonna edit this and we wanna copy our secret key here. This is the only thing we need out of this section. Press copy. Then we want to navigate to your config file in Fax Store, um, and it will look something a little like this without the blurriness. And you want to go to Tokens and Tebex Secrets. And then just in here, we want to replace this with our Tebex Secret we just copied. Save this to your system and restart your store, just like so. Uh, we want to go into one of our store items that we want this to work on. So Digital Page, for example, we'll do it on this one. Uh, edit listing and you want to go to options and you'll notice this brand new option here options are still in beta of course while we test tebex functionality but this is what we can do here with the options so we can list the package here by using the tebex uh colon prefix and then we want the package id and that is found if you go to packages go into your package and then just in the url at the top here is 5611408 that's the package id that we need i don't believe it's listed on this page unfortunately so you just got to copy out the url Go back into your fax store, paste it into here, uh, and then you can set your other desired options, uh, like the price for it and everything like that, which we want to set it to $9 at this stage. Then you can see here, we have our product and whatever content you put in here, and then you'll see this, player logs dash 5M. And if you remember correctly, it is the same name that we put here. So it actually pulls the name directly from Tebex. And that's the only thing it pulls. It doesn't pull the description or anything like that, just the package name. So we'll add it into our dropdown just here. And we can click on this and add it into our cart. And in a second, this number, which is just letting us know the package number, it updates to the name of the package, which is fantastic. And then the other requirement that we need is the person's 5M username. So we're going to go in here and put your 5X username, and this is what your customer would be doing. Check out use card. And once we're back onto our account on Faxor, what we can do is you'll see right here in the person's download, this is your customer. It has the name of the store item on our store, so on Faxor, and then it just shows the option ID, which is the name 
of the Tebex package. Client or customer will just have to click download on here. We'll take them directly to Keymaster and you can see here, player logs are just there and it got uploaded today. And then your customer would be able to download it and then they would have that encrypted package safe and sound. For any reason, if you need to remove the package off of someone, we can't do it directly through Factor, unfortunately. What you need to do is just go into the payment section on Tebex you can find the payment for that customer and you can just scroll to the bottom here and revoke like you normally would and that would revoke this asset if you have any issues feel free to reach out to support and hope you have a great day thank you